yes yes hello everyone welcome back again to this video and welcome back again to this tutorial so this is no max tv in this video i'm going to show you how you can be or uh, used to receive uh, phone calls on your computer so you always have a computer and you may be at your work and you are asking yourself if it is possible that you can be able to use uh, your phones on your computer that is possible so uh, you can be able to receive the phone calls on your computer you can be able to read the text messages uh, what you need is every way that you can be doing everything you are thinking of so this is what i'm going to be showing you in this tutorial and if you did not subscribe to this uh, channel no max tv subscribe today like this video share this with your friends and turn the notification bell button so as you always get notified when we upload a new video here at no max tv without wasting time let's get started uh, what i'm gonna do now is that so you have a computer either we're using windows 10 or we're using windows 11 uh, everything is possible as you can be using this for example if i see that receive phone calls receive phone calls uh yes phone calls on the computer if you try searching this uh, you can be getting the articles which are being uh, uh talking about this uh way that you can be using you can see you have to open the phone link uh, you see uh, you can see the rest of the articles which are talking about different ways that you can be using to ring our phone to the computer also this is the one i'm going to be showing you how you can be working so maybe uh, there are various ways that you can be using um and by using various uh, mobile applications also you can be using uh, various uh, software on your computer but uh, here i'm going to be showing you this way that could used to be also receiving a phone calls on your computer what i do first i have to come you can see now i have open phone you see uh, which means uh, open phone from Canada. but also you can see they use that to say uh, this best on what they want to be uh, communicating so here what you do you come here in the search bar of your computer and you type phone ring so if you type phone you are going to be saying this application which is called phone ring and you try opening it out so once you open phone ring you're going to be uh, receiving and getting to the details that you're going to be using uh to connect your phone with the computer so that you can be starting uh to receive mobile phones you can make a chorus you can take a chorus on your computer as you see these details here uh, also you see now you can keep up with the, your conversations which means you can be able to send text message so you can view mobile notifications on your computer which means you can be able to track uh the mobile notifications which is which are coming on your computer from any person from anywhere so what i do here is that i want to be selecting the kind of devices that i'm going to be using either using iphone or either using android so if you have ios and you have android version of the mobile phone you want to choose accordingly to the one you want to be linking to your computer so that you will be receiving the kind of calls that you want to be receiving so let me choose android phone for example then proceed with the next step as you can see after choosing the android phone you can see uh which means i can be now getting started to be receiving the given phone calls on your computer what you see you can see now i'm going to be having the account so if i have an account here which means i can be linking this account to a phone so if i link this i have to scan this or i also uh, it, it, now you can see it is going to be expiring within it uh, within uh, 10 minutes what you need to do you need to scan out these devices on your phone and also as you see they are also showing you how you can be even logging to this phone with your uh, microsoft account you can log into this uh, with your microsoft account or you can be logging to also by scanning this uh, QR code now let me try scan this QR code and see what I'm going to be getting on this computer and also see the result that I'm going to be getting. So once you scan this QR code on your Android phone, also they are going to be uh, giving you the link to be opening on your Android phone. 
and also you need to make sure that you open that link on your android phone so that you can be getting started uh with other permissions that you want to be uh proceeding on your computer so after this uh, what you do on, on your android phone also what they ask you is to sign in uh, with uh, microsoft account and also you need to make sure that you are signing in uh, with the microsoft account on your devices so that it is gonna be uh connecting the details that you are now be getting so let's try login so after scanning as you see they will give you uh, the code that you are going to be inserting here on your devices so that you can be receiving the uh, you can be allowing the access to this code so this code is going to be expiring within three minutes and you have to install this code in your phone as you need also to have these application applications installed in your android or phone so if it's android we have used you need to make sure that this phone link is installed in your mobile app uh, mobile phone also if it is ios you need to make sure that this uh, phone link is installed in your android phone so once you have done that you now you need to be allowing giving permissions to your mobile phone so that you can proceed with the next steps once you are done that you're going to be having uh, your android phone on this so now you can be uh, seeing that now i'm improving my phone i have to improve everything yes all right you can see uh, now if you are going to be connecting to your account you can see now uh you also your phone is now already done uh, now you can see device linking is done which means in a few seconds i'm going to be getting my phone on the computer you need to make sure that your computer and your phone are both connected to, to the internet because you will be receiving that call is also uh, via the internet so you can be uh, when your phone is going to be connected there so uh this uh have internet connected is going to be helping you to receive also to connect or to link this device because i'm going to be required the microsoft account for you to proceed with the linking or with this phone so once it is done now we're going to be seeing this uh, message which is saying uh, you are all set you began using your favorite phone apps respond to text message make calls view photos and more on your pc which means now we can be starting now using our phone on personal computer as you can see here uh, now they are ticking it uh, which means that it has already been connected which means i can get now started uh, using my phone either sending message taking calls making calls and everything i want to be doing like my phone on my personal computer so now let me try also uh pressing on the continue option to see I press continue if i press continue you can see now i see now start uh, so as you can see now this is my phone and it is it has been also uh now uh uh now copied everything that i have in my phone is going to be showing there in my computer so what i do uh if i click get started this option i want to be seeing every details in my phone to the computer which means i can be able to manage everything on my computer now let me click and show you, you can see uh, here at the top i see this is my phone this is my phone uh, screen as my background you can see this is a wi-fi connected this is a power button this is a battery everything is going to be showing there now let me click get started and see what is going to be following after clicking get started you can see now it sent text messages you can see view my photos you can see make a call now you can choose either to do every uh, any activity or any task you want to be doing by the starting or can be choosing to do anything let's say you want so this is all about depend uh, this is going to be depending on you depending on what you're going to be choosing to do by now but also you can skip you can press on the skip option so that we will be doing this later let me skip this option and show you the background for what i'm going to be seeing on my computer when you click skip now you can see access your mobile devices from our pc make and take call right like now from our pc give it try today now you can be doing this to get it started or you can skip for now also you will be doing with it later so now you can see after getting connected you can see i'm seeing everything here uh you can see now i got can see now i see everything details on my computer i can see i see text message uh, if i want to be composing new message i can be clicking here at the top and be able to send a text message to someone you can see that that is the top 
Also, if I want to be uh, looking on my photos, I can be clicking here and also be able to look the photos. Uh, if I want to be also managing my chorus or make a chorus to someone, I have to click here and also be able to uh, make a call to some person. As you can see, I have this my phone here, which is displaying uh, to everything there. And for example, let me click there and see uh, if I click on my course. You see, they are giving me an option to make and receive calls from your PC. Just connect your device with this PC to start dialing a course. So what I need to do, I need to, to connect these PCs. What I do, if I click get start, be ready to start making calls on my computer see now wait on to see what is gonna be coming and also once we're done you can be started you can see now i'm registering uh, i'm registering my mobile devices with uh, their system so that i can be able to make calls on my on my computer also easily you see now i have the phone which means i can be able to call someone uh on on my computer so from here i can be able to type the phone number i can be able to do everything and also be able to call someone i can click here and search the contact i want to be calling and i can be able to do everything that i want to be doing i can be able to manage the permissions also which i will need to send the permission to the phone so that i already permission to be uh, doing this if i send the permission to my phone i'm going to be accepting the permission so that also uh, they can display my recent calls if i don't send it i can be about uh, keep seeing that because I didn't need uh, send the permissions. If I send the permission, I'm going to be around my phone that they can display my recent calls on my computer, which means I can be able to manage everything. So this is how you can be connecting your phone to a computer and be able to make calls. Uh, what I can tell you is that what you need is to download this phone link on your uh, mobile uh, mobile phones. You can be downloading it to a smartphone, to an iOS. You can be download to your an, uh, Android phone. Then after that, you need to be also opening this one and also need to have Microsoft account. Once you're having that account, you need to sign in to uh, within that account uh, on both devices, on the computer, on your personal computer also and on in the mobile phone. Once you are signed into both devices, you're going to be scanning the QR code as you have seen. Then you can be ready now to use your mobile phone or you can be able to call someone to receive text messages on your computer easily without any other complications. Thank you for watching this video. This is how you can be doing this. Uh, remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel Max TV. Turn notification and bell button so as you always get notified when I upload new video here at you know, Max TV. If you have any suggestion, any comment, remember to leave it within a comment section.